United States President Joe Biden underscored the enduring commitment of the United States to Ukraine's security, even in the face of potential political shifts, such as possible return of former President Donald Trump, who currently leads in some election polls. Biden also conveyed a unified stance among the group of seven or G7 nations to Russian President Vladimir Putin. The agreement serves as a strategic framework to overhaul Ukraine's military capabilities, align them with the North Atlantic Treaty Organization or NATO standards, and sets the stage for rapid consultation between U.S. and Ukrainian officials within 24 hours in response to any armed attack or significant threat against Ukraine. Beyond military support, the G7 nations collectively committed a $50 billion loan for Ukraine, funded by the profits from frozen Russian assets highlighting a multifaceted approach to supporting Ukraine's defense and economic stability. Meanwhile, President Zelensky lauded the agreement as a historic milestone, viewing it as a bridge towards Ukraine's coveted NATO membership. Despite Ukraine's long-standing aspirations, NATO allies have been cautious about extending full membership due to the Alliance Mutual Defense Clause, which obligates collective defense against attacks. Amidst these strategic advancements, Biden recently adjusted his stance on the use of American weapons, permitting Ukraine to deploy long-range U.S. missiles against Russian positions near Kharkiv. However, he maintained a firm boundary against expanding these attacks further into Russian territory. Early Briones, UNTV News & Rescue. We serve the people, we give glory to God.